Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. We have 1 over 27 to the power x plus 1 over 3 to the power x is equal to 222. And we're going to be solving for x values, all x values. Great. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and write 1 over 3 to the power x as 1 over 3 to the power x. And then 1 over 27 to the power x as 1 over 27 to the power x. Now notice that 1 over 27 is 1 third cubed. So this can be written as 1 over 3 to the third to the power x. And then we can switch the x and 3 because the exponents are multiplied. And this gives us something nice. If you use substitution, let's go ahead and replace 1 over 3 to the power x with u, okay, then this is going to become u cubed. Great. Let's go ahead and substitute both of these into our equation. And we're going to talk about how to solve that resulting polynomial. All right. So let's go ahead and do it. 1 over 27 to the power x is what, u cubed. And this is going to be u. And the answer is 222. Now, you can talk about a couple things here. First of all, if the answer is an integer, you can definitely guess and check. I'm pretty sure you found it already. That's going to give us one of the solutions. Or you can use what's called the factor theorem. If you put the constant on the left-hand side, you're going to be looking at factors of 220. Since 220 can be written as 2 times 111, which is 3 times 37, this is basically a product of three primes with first powers. So to find the number of factors of this number, we're going to multiply 2 times 2 times 2, which is 1 more than 1, 1, 1. And then, of course, we have to double it if you want to find the positives and negatives. But we have eight positive factors of 222. If you want to list them individually, they're going to be like 1 times 222, 2 times 111, 3 times 74, and then 4 doesn't go, obviously. 5 doesn't go. The next one that goes is actually going to be uh, 2 times 3, which is 6, by the way. So it's going to be 6 times 37. And then the next one after that is supposed to be, I think, uh, 74. And then we're going to get... So pretty much, uh, well, that's it, right? Okay, what am I talking about? I already got 8 numbers. So we got 4 pairs. That's all the factors that are positive. But if you uh, use negative numbers like negative 1 times negative 22, negative 222 then basically you're going to get eight other factors. Total of 16 factors, so you got to test 16 integers only for factor theorem. But it's time consuming, so I'm going to give it to you, uh, you know, just to keep a long story short, we're going to find it real quick. Now I'm thinking about um, the size of u. If u is a positive integer, then u must be greater than 5, because uh, 5 cubed plus 5 is equal to 130. And that's definitely less than 222. So anything greater than 5 should hopefully work. And that actually happens to be 6 in this case, because 6 cubed plus 6 is 216 plus 6, which happens to be 222. Awesome. And by the way, uh, one thing to uh, worth mentioning here is u cubed plus u can be factored as u times u squared plus 1. And if you think about factoring 222, into uh, the product of uh, one more than a perfect square and a number uh, that would actually give you, and looking at the factors, that should give you an idea. Looking at factors of 222, which number is one more than a perfect square? And you could hopefully find it real quick. 37 is the only possibility because 37 is one more than 36, which is a perfect square. Make sense? Yeah, that's perfect. So we can write it as 36 plus 1. That's 37 multiplied by 6. You're all set. Make sense? Okay, so this will probably be a little better than just guess and check. But u equals 6 works. Let's go ahead and write the u cubed plus u as 6 cubed plus 6. Put everything on the left-hand side and factor. So we're going to be using difference of two cubes and hopefully you remember the formula a cubed plus, I mean minus b cubed, is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. 
Make sense? Cool, cool. Now, this is going to become u minus 6 multiplied by u squared plus 6u plus 36. This is going to be u minus 6 times 1. If you take out this as a common factor, u minus 6, we already know u equals 6 is a solution. The other factor is going to be u squared plus 6u plus 37. Great. So we got, um, we got it factored. The first one gives us u equals 6. We already know that. The second one is a quadratic. Let's go ahead and solve it using completing the square or quadratic formula. But guess what? The quadratic formula is an application of completing the square. So that's where it comes from. So let's go ahead and subtract 37 from both sides. And then remember in one of the videos we talked about it recently. What, what number should be added to this uh, to make it a perfect square? And that number is half of 6 squared. Think about it. Then that's 9, right? You're probably familiar with this if you've done some algebra. This becomes u plus 3 squared and the right hand side becomes negative 28. Did I say negative? Uh-oh, that's no good. The answers are not real. Okay, that's fine. We can do it. u equals 6. Let's save it for now. And let's go ahead and focus on this. If you square root both sides, you're going to get the square root of 28 with a plus minus sign. That's a negative 28, by the way. And if you think about square root of 28, 28 is 4 times 7. So if you square root it, that's going to be 2 root 7. Nice. Then we can write this as u plus 3 equals plus minus 2 root 7 i. Because of we have a minus sign inside. So if you have a positive number like negative x, we can write it as plus minus square root of x i. Because we have to uh, have two complex roots, that's why I kind of use the plus minus sign. I know there is some ambiguity or whatever, abuse of notation, whatever you call it. That's what it is. So now subtract 3 from both sides. And by the way, i is the number, in case you didn't know, whose square equals negative 1. That's our imaginary unit, a number that doesn't exist, right? Well, it's very helpful, by the way. Okay, anyway, so this is our u. All right, this is u. And how do you go from x, uh, from this to x? u equals 6 is reserved. So, oh, oh the graph is coming up, so i got to hurry up. So, here's what you need to do. u is what? 1 third to the power x, remember? Sorry about the messy writing. 1 third to the power x. And now if I just ln both sides, I'm going to get the answer. So, now, if you do ln, you're going to get x ln 1 third equals ln a complex number. Uh-oh, how do you do that? Okay. Let me tell you. You can leave it like that if you want, if you're okay with that. But I'll tell you how to do it in general form. You can basically write this as, and by the way, some people are just going to write this as ln3 uh, to the power negative 1 and put the negative sign here. I don't know. It doesn't matter. No big deal. Now, how do you ln a negative number? If you can write it as, you know, something like ln e to the power i times alpha, where alpha is the angle whose tangent is equal to this number divided by that number. And you're going to get the answer in the simplest form, something like negative i alpha divided by ln 3. So you kind of need to add also to this alpha. I guess you could leave it like that. Okay, let's not complicate things. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. Oh, by the way, from the other one, we get a real solution. And what is that going to look like if 1 third to the power x is equal to 6? ln both sides, you're going to get ln 6 with a minus sign divided by ln 3. So that's going to be our real solution. And let's go ahead and take a look at the graph and we'll finish up. There you go. So this is the graph of our function and it intersects the horizontal line. Wait, where's the intersection point? It's not here because look at this. This is 5. It didn't fit the screen. It's way above, but you get the idea. And that's going to intersect because this is a decreasing function. This is horizontal. They're going to intersect at a single point. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.